Next week, we'll be discussing I Know What You Did Last Summer. Tom, how was your watch? This is the second time I've seen this. I saw this when it first came out. Uh, what I remember most about this movie is the song Hush that <laughs> that plays. It's, that's really how I identify this movie. Um, and of course, the, the hook thing. I actually had even forgotten that they discuss the famous hook fairy tale story or the uh it's not a fairy tale what do you call it an urban legend urban story legend, yeah, yeah. yeah non-urban urban legend story that that goes throughout the the movie so even that i had forgotten about um i was surprised how universally bad the acting was with the, with the possible exception freddie of Sa- prince jr <laughs> oh he's awful in it. yeah he's really awful like sarah michelle geller isn't doesn't have a lot of range but at least she knows how to play in action poor freddie prince he 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 plays everything like a sad puppy that's the old that's the whole the whole movie was oh the poor sad puppy freddie prince jr he he's he's dealing that puppy he's dealing with some stuff today isn't he he's a good boy though he's gonna get it done (laughs) that's all i could think of when watching this film Like he, oh, he's so cute. We'll just let he's him so stay in the movie. Cute. Yeah, oh, let it, oh, he's doing his best. For he's adorable. Guy. He's trying. Let's give him a treat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I had a good time uh, with this watch. I saw it for the first time probably just a couple years ago um and followed quickly by i still know uh, which is fun in the moment but then when i'm trying to think back on it later it's like okay well which one was the first one you know and that coming off of running the whole scream marathon so it was great to revisit it and yeah just like some of the stuff that had come up in this movie where i was just trying to place it from before um i mean i i, I had fun with it i think you know it is what it is and we'll <laughs> we'll get into that for sure but it was it was good to to revisit it for sure I thought I had seen this when it first came out and it's possible I did and just remember absolutely nothing, but I remember nothing. I didn't remember who the killer was. I I mean, at one point I thought maybe Anne Hash was the killer. Um, I really couldn't remember anything. And I don't know if that was a function of me being like nine or 10 or um, if I just got scared and fell asleep, which was typically what I did. but I enjoyed it, I guess, this first time I watched it, except for, yeah, the acting was was real bad. And part of it, I was just trying to f- figure out if it was Freddie Prince Jr. or if he was just supposed to be someone who was so dumb he couldn't react to what was happening around him. Um, but I, I had fun. Yeah, I, I think the last time I saw this was probably 1997. I was, I think, a freshman in high school. And I only remember that Jennifer Love Hewitt was in it. I didn't remember anyone else, which probably shows you where my mind was uh, at that stage of my life. (laughs) Uh, But it was interesting to rewatch. I'm like, oh, yeah, they just took like 14 heartthrobs from the 90s and put like a kind of horror plot together. And there you go. And what's interesting is we just did Scream uh, the other week, which is why this is part of our, our Scream block. And in my head, these movies were always connected. And we'll talk a little bit more during the episode where they may have actually been a little bit more connected than I even realized. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I think this is going to be a fun one to talk about. Definitely not an award winner. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> 